If German President Frank Walter Steinmeier understood Ukrainian, he would be surprised how often he is mentioned by Ukrainian media. But they're not interested in him personally. They're interested in something called the Steinmeier formula. To explain the Steinmeier formula, we have to go back to 2014 when Russia invaded Ukraine. After a series of military losses, Ukraine was forced to sign an agreement in Minsk. The agreement set the terms for a ceasefire. Weapons would be rolled back by both sides. Local elections would be held in the Russian-occupied zone. Territories not under the control of the Ukrainian government would receive autonomy. And finally, Ukraine would regain control of its borders. But the agreements didn't work. None of the Minsk agreement provisions were fully implemented. In 2016, then-German Foreign Minister Steinmeier proposed a simplified version of Minsk. Hold elections in the occupied territories under Ukrainian legislation with supervision by the OSCE. If the OSCE deems the election free and fair, the special autonomy status of these regions would kick in and Ukraine would eventually receive its borders back. The outcome of these elections isn't hard to predict. Russia controls the territory where the elections should take place and it isn't ready to let go. It wants to legitimize its proxies through elections. The region is also subject to Russian propaganda and those who support Ukraine have largely fled. In 2016, Steinmeier's proposals were dropped, but today, under a new Ukrainian president, it is back on the table. After elected in April, President Volodymyr Zelensky made a rapid ending to the war among his top priorities. The Steinmeier formula is also supported by the leaders of France, Germany, and obviously Russia. This formula, so controversial to Ukraine, may indeed stop the war, but it can also be beneficial to Russia and dangerous to Ukraine. For more information, check out our website and our social media.